again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. Today, we're going to be revisiting the pineapple stitch. Absolutely love this design. It works up fast. It's gorgeous. It's lacy. I love it. Uh, previously, I've done variations of this. Uh, one in particular that was a, a center out blanket with this stitch. This one, however, works back and forth in rows and it creates the most gorgeous rippled edge. So this is the bottom right here, very nice and simple. However, on the edges, check this out. It has a gorgeous sort of undulating edge as you work your way up. Absolutely love it. Mm. Now, for this particular piece, I used Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the colorway of Elephant Gray, and I used a 5.5 millimeter size I crochet hook, and I'm going to be using the exact same thing today. Now, this is a long repeat, I'm not going to lie, but it's pretty easy, it works up fast, and don't you worry, I'm going to walk you through it. So, that being said, let's get started. Okie dokie. First things first, the base chain. Now, this particular stitch has quite a big multiple. Uh, it is a multiple of 24 chains plus an additional 18 chains. So you can make this piece as wide or as narrow as you want to, whether it's for a wide scarf, a wrap, a blanket, a what have you. I love options. That's why I always try to give you the multiple. Now, that being said, I would, as always, strongly suggest make up a swatch first. That way, if you want to do a really big project, you can figure out how many multiples you would need based on your swatch for a larger project. Now, for today, for today's example, I'm doing a total of 66 chains because it's a multiple of 24. I'm going to be doing two multiples of 24, which is 48 plus the additional 18, so we're going to have a nice, good, solid foundation for you to work off of. And that being said, make up your multiple of 24 plus an additional 18, and we'll get started. Alrighty, row one. Now, for the first couple of rows, it's really just to get us started until the repeat, which is rows four through 19. So going to hop right in and do a single crochet into the second chain from the hook there, a chaining of three, and then skipping three chains into that fourth chain, do another single crochet. All right, and then skipping the next three chains, we're going to create a fan, okay? Now this is gonna be a lot of double crochets into that fourth chain, it's gonna be nine. So me personally, I like to go underneath that top loop of the V. Some people, they prefer to go underneath the back bump to each their own, but into that fourth chain, nine doubles. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight, and this should be nine. I always double count and check to make sure. Three, six, and nine. Perfect. Okay. From here, going to skip the next three chains and then into the fourth single crochet. Lock that down into place. All right. 
So we started off with a chain three space, then a fan. Now we need a total of four chain three spaces. So chain three, skip three chains into the fourth chain, single crochet, chain three, Skip three chains into the fourth chain, single crochet, chain three, skip three chains into the fourth, single crochet. There we are, and we have how many spaces? We've got three, so we just need one more. So, chain three. Skip three chains, and then into the fourth, single crochet. There we are. And then we're gonna do another fan. So skipping three chains into the fourth, nine double crochets once again. So this is what you're gonna be doing for your base chain until we reach almost the end. fans separated by four chain three spaces. Okay, so we've got four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, and this should be nine. Okay, got my three, six, and nine. Perfect, okay. So then, skipping three chains and into the fourth, lock it down with a single crochet. Chain three. Skip three chains into the fourth, single crochet. Chain three. Skip three chains, single crochet, chain three. Skip three chains into the fourth, single crochet. And I think that that's three spaces. Yep, we need one more. Chain three. Skip three chains into the fourth, single crochet. There we go. So now it is time for another fan. So skipping three chains into the fourth, nine doubles. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this should be nine. I err on the side of paranoia. Some people on the side of caution I err on the side of paranoia. So three, six, and nine. Perfect. Okay. And then skipping three chains into the fourth single crochet to lock this side down. There we go. And then we've got four chains left over, which is perfect. Chain three. Skip the next three and single crochet into that last chain stitch. And there you go. So, as you can see, I've got one, I've got two, and I have three fans. And 
That's what we're working with for this uh, particular swatch. You can make as many as you want to, keep in mind, um, you know, that this is just how I do things. And anyway, so let's press on to row two. Okay, row two, it's going to be a little bit easier because we don't have to fiddle with so many things with the base chain. So at the beginning of row two, start by chaining up three, turn the work, and into this very first single crochet stitch right down here, double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochets. Now this first row that we're doing this sort of side double V shell cluster thingy, um, it's going to change the next row, but this starts us off on the right footing. All right, now from here, we need to expand this current shell. So going right in, now keep in mind, don't go into this single crochet, but into the first of the double crochets, go in with a, a double, make sure that you're going into the double crochet there. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next. We're going to do that for all nine. So it's going to be nine doubles separated by chain one spaces. And that is going to expand the shell. So that it will be primed for becoming an official pineapple. So it's just chain one and double in each of the doubles. Really, really, really simple. And then Aside from doing this, the majority of this project, you're stitching into stitch spaces, not actually into stitches. So it works up very, very fast. All right, and don't forget this last one right here. And upon occasion, it's always good to make sure that you do in fact still have nine doubles. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. All right, so from here, we're going to work into this next single crochet right over here. Not this one, this one over here with a full double V stitch. So going into that single with two doubles, chain one, two doubles, all into that single crochet stitch. There we go. And then into this next single crochet, we're going to work sort of a, a scant V stitch. So going from here directly into the next one with a double chain one double. Double chain one and double. So it's similar but, you know, half as many stitches. Then into the next single crochet, we're going to do another full double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There we go. And then we reached another fan shell doodad. So we're going to expand this one out as well as soon as I get my yarn untangled here. There we go. Okay, so into the fan, going into each double with a double and separate them with chain one spaces. So that's one, chain one. two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, 
five, chain one. Six, chain one. Seven, chain one. Eight, chain one. And nine. There we go. And then we're going to do the same sequence. A, a double V, a single V, and a double V. So into the next single, a double V. So that's... I can find it. Come on. Hiding in plain sight. There we go. So that's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. Pull out a little bit more yarn here. Okay, then a, a single V for the next single crochet. So that's double, chain one, double. Double, chain one, double. There we go. And then into this next one, a, a double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, and then we have another fan. So double into that first double. Be sure that you're not going into that single. You know, I don't want to go into this stitch. You want to go into that stitch. So double, chain one. Two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one. Eight, chain one, and nine. Great. Okay. And then, last but not least, into that last single crochet stitch, we're going to do a double V because that's what we started with. So, into that stitch, there we go. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. There you go. All right, so got a beautiful start going on here, and that is the end of row two. All righty. All righty, row three. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit because it's going to be quite a bit easier from here on in. So start off by chaining up three, turn the work. All right, now going to hop right in into this chain one space with a double V. So two doubles, chain one and two more doubles. I almost had it. All right, there we go. So we got our double V, and this is going to create that beautiful edge. So from here, we're going to, again, work on our pineapple here. So chain three. And into this chain one space right here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space. And we're going to do this all the way across so that we end up 
with seven of these little chain three eyelets. So chain three and single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven little chain three spaces, rare and to go. And then from here, going to scoot along to the double V and create another double V in the chain one space. So that is two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, now here we have, you know, uh, sort of a decreasing anomaly, which we're only going to see right now. But after this, it's not going to be like this. You'll see. We'll get there. So from here, going directly from this double V cluster into that chain one space of the single, just do one double crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to do another double V into the double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So that's two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Now that's why I was saying before that the repeat starts at row four. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. All right, so we just did our double V. Then we have to embellish the pineapple. So chain three, single crochet into that chain one space, and then continue on creating seven chain three eyelets. Chain three, and single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, and so on and so forth. And there. And the next one. Like I said, this does go by a lot faster when you have something to work with. And because we're working predominantly into stitch spaces, not into actual stitches. And that's why I love the pineapples. You know, it can be a little bit fiddly at first, but once you get in the groove, there's no stopping you. Okay, we got one more. And there you go. From here, going to scoot right into this double V with two doubles, chain one, two doubles, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, all right. Then into the single V stitch, just one double into that chain one space. Into the next double V, another double V. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. And then embellish this next fan. So chain three, single in the chain one space, chain three, 
single in the next chain one space, and so on and so forth until we have seven chain three eyelets. One more after this. There we go. Okay, and we have just about reached the end here. So, chain three. There. And then, into the chain one space at the end, another double V cluster. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And there you go. That is the end of row three. Ta -da! Gorgeous already. All right, row four. Now, keep in mind, this is the beginning of the repeat. So row four, we're going to start in with the usual chaining up of three, turn the work, and into that first chain one space there, going to create a double V cluster, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And as always, I'm gonna be putting the timestamps in the description box so you can refer back to the different rows as you need to. All right, so we've got our double V in the double V. From here, we're going to continue on in the same fashion with our pineapple. So chain three, and then in the first of the chain three eyelets. Now, not this connecting one, but into this first one over here, single crochet. There we go, chain three, Single in the next eyelet, chain three. Single in the next eyelet, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then single in the next. One, two, three. Single in the next. One, two, three, and then single in the last one. So we had seven. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. It's nice being right upon occasion. Okay, so from here, chain three. There. And then another double V in the double V. So in that chain one space, two doubles, Chain one, two doubles. There we go. Now it's at this point that we're going to go directly from this double V to this double V. We're just going to skip right over this middle here. So scooting into that next chain one space into that double V stitch, create another double V with two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And there you go. And then we need to embellish more eyelets here. So chain three, single into that first chain three eyelet, chain three, single in the 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 eyelet, 
chain three, single in the eyelet, chain three, and single in the eyelet, chain three, and then work into this double V with another double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, There we go. And pull out some more yarn as necessary. There we go. All right, then skipping over this double, we're gonna go right into that next double V with a double V. So two doubles. Chain one two doubles, chain three, and then we're going to work on these eyelets here. So into that first chain three eyelet, single crochet, chain three, single in the next, 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 chain three, and single in the last. There we go. Then chain three, and double V in the double V. So in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And, ooh, almost, almost. I am not infallible, I make mistakes too. Sometimes my fingers are like margarine. I can't help it. All right, there we go. So I know I keep saying it, but it is gorgeous already, and I can't wait to show you how this works up even more so. All right, let's get to it. Okay, row five. Start off in the usual fashion. Chain up three and turn your work. Okay. From here, double V into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, there we go, chain three, all right, and create more eyelets. So into that chain three space, single crochet, chain three, and single, 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 chain three, and we're going to work another double V, but before I do, I like to double count, so I should have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect! So gorgeous! All right, so I did my chain three here. Now I just need to work a double V in the double V, so in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. Okay, scooting right along to the next double V with a double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. OK, 
Okay, we have another pineapple to attack. Okay, so chain three. And then into that chain three eyelet, single. Chain three. And 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 single. Okay. Chain three. And then a double V into the double V chain one space. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. Going directly to the next double V with a double V into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. A bit more yarn. Just got one more pineapple to go. Okay, so chain three. And then into that first chain three eyelet, single crochet. Chain three. And single in the next. Chain three. Single in the next, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next. All right, we're almost there. Chain three, and then into the chain one space of the double V. Do another double V. That's Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay. And there you go. That is the end of row five. All right. Okay, row six. Start off as per usual with a chaining up of three and turning your work. Get the tail out of the way there. Okay, so as per usual, I'm going to do a double V in the double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go, just two more doubles. And then we can get started working on our pineapple a bit more. So I got the double V and of course I have a knot. Sorry folks, it happens. There we go, good as new. And while I'm at it, I'll pull out a little bit more yarn here. Okay, so from here, going to chain three, and into the next chain three eyelet, single crochet. And at this point we should have four. So chain three and single, chain three and single, chain three and single, chain three, and single. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this should now be four chain three eyelets. One, two, three, and four, perfect. All right, then going to again, chain three, do a double V into the double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Now at 
this point, things are going to change just a little bit after I do this double V because in between this double V and the next double V, we're going to branch outwards so that in this space up here, we can have another pineapple. So that being said, from here, we're going to chain two, create a little bit of space there, and then a double V into the double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be sort of the, the platform for where the next pineapple is going to grow out of. So from here, we have to deal with this pineapple. Chain three, and then into the next eyelet, single crochet, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single. All right, so we have our four chain three eyelets, then scooting right along, chain three, and then into the double V, create another double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, two more doubles. Okay, then we need the chain two space again. So chain two, and then another double V into the double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, there we go, pull out a little more yarn, there we go, chain three, And then we can work on this pineapple, reducing it down to four eyelets again. So into that chain three eyelet, single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, there we go. And then we're at the tail end. So from here, chain three, and double V in the double V at the end. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Ta -da! And there you go. That is the end of row six. Mm, it's a thing of beauty. Alrighty, my dears. So that's going to conclude part one of this tutorial series. If you're liking it so far, well, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And stay tuned for more. And until next time, you know what to do, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, and have a great day.